Now let's animate this plan. Okay, let's start. First, we create a circle in the center of the contour. Change its color to be a bit more yellowish. Duplicate the ellipse shape and place it below the previous ellipse. Decrease its size. Then, we add Merge Path Modifier to the shape and set its mode and subtract to create the outer circle of the coin. Select text tool and press shift 4 to create this dollar icon and place it inside the circle. Now right click on the text layer and from create menu select create shapes from text. Now a shape will be created just like the text. I rename it, duplicate these two layers and change their name from front to back. Change it to 3D. Change the view to custom. Then go to the top view. Move the two new layers to the diameter size of the coin. Duplicate ring front layer and change it to ring extrude. Go to composition setting in 3D renderer menu, set renderer to cinema 4D. Now, in Shape Layer Settings, you can extrude the layers. Now open Geometry option and set Extrusion Depth on 30. Increase it a bit to make the extrude as the size of the back of the coin. It's OK. Go to Custom View. Change the color of this shape to orange to be separate from the other layers. Duplicate this layer. Open Geometry option and extrude this layer just the size of the previous one. Change its color. This coin is now created. Open Ring Front Layer and enable its stroke. Its stroke is too much, decrease it to 2. Then to fix the color problem, move the stroke below the fill. Do the same thing for this layer. Do the same with ring back layer. And this layer as well. Change the color of ring extrude to be more orange to have a better look. Change this layer's color to its color too. Now shallow the layer. Duplicate the ring extrude layer to make some groove around the coin to be more realistic. Open its setting. You don't need the stroke, so delete it. Group the two stroke and merge path. Go to active camera view. Add a star to the shape. Hold down control to stretch the wings of the star. Move the star below the group and add a merge path modifier to it. Open merge path and change its mode to subtract. Delete its stroke. Increase inner radius and outer radius. Set point on 25. Increase outer radius a bit.
open custom view to see the shape better. Open group and increase the size of ellipse too. Change its color to be more yellowish. Enable ring extrude layer. Let's see. Rename this layer. Go to the top view. Set its extrude to 35. Move it a bit in Z-axis to be exactly in the center. Set it to 1.7. Go to Custom View. Increase the size of Ellipse 1 a bit to remove the overlapping of these two shapes. Enable the other layers. You should decrease the extrude of this layer a bit. Open the layer. Set the extrude on 30. Set position Z on 5. Five is not good, set it to four. Open Polyastar again and increase inner radius. Set it to 110. Set points on 40 and to have more dashes. Set inner radius on 115 to increase the gap between the dashes. One hundred twenty is better. It's okay now. Again duplicate the ring extrude layer. Open the layer. Delete ellipse one, merge path and extrude. I just keep the middle circle. Change its color. Open geometry and set extrude to 15. Go to top view and place the layer exactly in the center of the coin. It is not interesting. Decrease the extrude, set it to 5. Again, go to top view and place it in the center of the coin. It's better now. Go back to active camera view and create a null object. Place its anchor point in the center and use Control and Home to place it in the center of the composition. Go to Top View and make the null object 3D and place it exactly in the center of the coin since we want the shape layers move around it. Okay. Select all layers and parent them to null object. As you see, it's all right, and the coin is rotating correctly. Okay, let's animate the coin. For fast scene processing and making the animation easier and recognizing the speed of the animation, it's better to reduce the composition. So we open the composition settings and set the renderer to classic 3D.
Now, if I move the rotation of Y, you can see the coin is really weak, but the extrudes don't exist anymore, and also we don't need them. After finishing the animation, you can change render to Cinema 4D again, and then the extrudes will appear again. Open the position of null object and create a keyframe in the beginning of the timeline. Go to second one. Move the coin up a bit. Go back to the first frame and move the coin down here out of the scene. Go to second two and paste the first keyframe here. Set easy ease of the middle keyframe on 90%. Let's have a look. The animator of its position is all right now. Go to the second keyframe and create a keyframe for its X rotation. Set it on minus 180 degrees. Go back to the first keyframe and set it to zero. And in this frame, set it on minus 360 degrees. Select three rotation keyframes and go to graph editor. Select the middle keyframe and easy ease it. Select the first keyframe and click on this icon and drag its handle down to speed it up. Drag up the handle of the last keyframe to speed it up. Select the middle keyframe and click on this button. Now, both handles will move together. Straighten the handles of the middle keyframe to decrease the speed of the rotation of the coin in second one. It's better now. Go back to the keyframes. Move the middle keyframe to second one. In the second, change Y and Z rotation a bit to make the coin like this. Set all rotations to zero. Trim the work area until second two. Let's have a look. Easy is these two keyframes as well. To create a reflection for the coin, create a new composition. Create a rectangle in it. Change its color to white. Duplicate it. Open rectangle path and decrease its X value. Move it to the right. Duplicate this layer again. Scale it down and move it to the left. Then, create a keyframe for its position in the beginning of the timeline and create the second keyframe in second one. In the first keyframe, move it to the left of the scene and in the second keyframe, move it to the right of the scene to have such animation. Go back to the main composition. Rename the new com to light. Import it to the composition. Enable its 3D mode. In the beginning of the timeline, move the light composition exactly to the center of the coin layers. Scale it down to be the same size as the coin. Parent it to null object. Move the indicator forward to see where exactly the light is appear on the coin. It's a bit fast. So I drag the light layer a bit back. It's okay now. Change its rotation to be the same angle as the coin. Now it's much better.
Now I duplicate ring back layer. Place it above light comp and alpha mat the light comp to the new ring back layer. We can't see it now. Increase the Z position of the reflect layer. The layer came forward and we can see it. To make the reflection more natural, set its opacity on 50. Duplicate this layer. Move it up. Duplicate the reflect layer and move it up as well. Make this layer alpha mat of the new layer as well. Set its beginning here. Set its beginning here. It's okay. Create a solid and change its color to dark purple. It should be more purplish. Okay. Open composition settings. Set renderer to Cinema 4D. After changing render engine to Cinema 4D, you can see the layers which we make the alpha mat for the reflection of the coin are messed up. To solve it, press Ctrl Z. Change it back to classic 3D render engine. Duplicate the null object. Parent the reflect layers to the new null object. Then move the new null object and reflect layers to a new composition. Then open composition settings. Set render engine on Cinema 4D. As you see, the coin has depth and its reflect is done correctly. There is a problem. The dollar icon is reversed. To solve it, go to the beginning of the timeline, duplicate the null object. Select the layers of the dollar. Parent them to the new null object and set Y and set Y rotation of new null object on minus 180 degrees. Then select the layers again and parent them to the previous null. Delete the new null object. As you see, it is not solved yet. Seems one of the dollar layers is not inversed correctly. That's because we moved one of the dollar layers to the light composition. We should inverse it as well. Open light composition. I select the dollar layer and set its Y rotation on minus 180. As you see, it's totally set up. You see, it has depth and its dollar is shown correctly and its reflect is happening. We have another problem here. The dollar icon is shown here. That's the dollar icon which is in the light composition. So when the light is blows the coin, we should limit this composition. We should set the beginning of the comp when its reflect starts. Let's see that again. Very good. I think we're done here. There's no problem. Good luck.